So that's, that's the rationale for the policy. So it was included, it was approved by City Council in the fall of 2000, well, in December of 2008. We didn't impose it and bring it in last year because of the weather. We circulated stuff to everybody. We told them it was coming April 1st of this year. We started the rotation last September just because the weather was so bad. And so these things are all in the books. We didn't make it up uh, this summer and say, you know, how are we going to charge and impose it? So that's a system we have to change those fees like any other fee in the market or change the process that these vendors are talking about. We have to go back to city council. And as staff, we are not prepared to do that. Uh, the process, which is they have to suspend the rules. City Council can't consider uh, an issue twice in the same term. That's their rules, so they don't turn around things. So this is what we have. So what we as staff are saying to you, we want to hear your issues. We want to, to, to pilot it this year. And if there are significant issues we're prepared, prepared to look at, it's just very important that you guys understand that we want to try to balance this with you and try to figure out how to make it work. Everywhere else in the city, there's no fee, save and except Spark Street, where they charge 35 bucks uh, a year. No, 30, sorry, we hear 35 bucks. Is that with GST? Well, I guess we'll go in all. I mean, we've heard a lot of talking. So far, we have nobody's been able to ask the question. People are leaving. I mean, no, that's their choice. I mean, okay, that's your choice. I know. It's the so, choice that and I know you can't even ask questions because you're so busy okay. talking. So that's the rationale. That's your okay, rationale. You win, we lose. We got no money. We got it. In the report. So, well, oh, please open the question. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a performance or what is that? 
So there was some sense that there had to be a bar to make it a, a level sort of playing field. But some of those folks are there 300 days in the year, all day. So okay. Are we. So no, no. But I mean, so are you there 300 days? Like I invite I you. I used to do it okay. for a living. But I you, actually bought a car. Okay. I paid for my my lodgings. I paid for my food and everything, and I didn't go on welfare. Since I came to Ottawa, I can't make a. I lost my car. I don't have a place to live. I have to go on welfare. I can't make any money in this city. But again, I mean, that's not the, the Byron market can't solve those kind of problems. But if you're saying you're there for, for 200 days, let's run it off to 200 days. It's a dollar a day. That, okay. That's an exception. No, no, but again, though, there has to be some level. So when we're looking at staff, our line is that at $200, depending on how many buskers we get, and again, we're not limiting. <coughs> We could jury and we could say we're going to have 20 apps and that's it. We're going to give 20 apps access to the market. We wanted to ensure universal availability. We wanted to have staff there seven days a week from 8 in the morning until 5 at night. They could issue a permit on the spot. Okay? No other city issues you a permit on the spot. So you can show up in Ottawa by bus, by train, by plane and be performing within an hour. Those are all parts that's, that's paid to play. Okay. Again, sure. But again, you have to understand, I mean, that is, that is a that different is tourist you have attraction. Have ID though, right? Yeah, well, you have to have ID, but that's, that's a requirement. You have to be 18. But it just, if, is our whole, I guess what I need to probe for before we get there is price the only issue. Like, do you appreciate the rotation? Do you appreciate access to the market? Because all we're hearing about is price. No, I, I, think, that, I, think, I think last year, Sheldon, when we had the, the, the um, uh, didn't have price last year, we had three, but we did have a sign up. That solved a I lot of problems. But people got the pieces of paper last year that said what the fees were like. Just so we're clear, these fees were approved by City Council right. in December 08. Right. So, yeah, it did say on the paper that there was going to be a consultation. I, I, noted, I noted on one of those memos that there was going to be a consultation with the buskers over the, over the winter. So a lot of us were expecting that we were going to give some feedback right. before this went into effect. Okay. So sorry, I'll take a couple questions, but I do want to know what the other issues are than price. Because I mean, if, if price is all we're talking about, then I mean, it's a different discussion. So these folks had their hands up and then we're sort of going to go in the circle. So ma'am, you had your hand up. Yeah, I was, I was going to say in terms of price, like I, under, I understand your argument about like these are regular voices for these, but like you have to, like this is a, I think a kind of a different socioeconomic um, <coughs> group of people that you're dealing with. Like these aren't people starting a business or getting married or like these kinds of licenses, right? Like these are people who are, trying to make money busking for spare change. So to, to make your argument about the fees for the licenses being that this is the thing for every kind of license, I think it's somewhat unfair to the, to the demographic that th this program is for. Quite well taken. But to understand this is not a citywide program, and it was a very conscious decision to put it where the problems of interface between other vendors and other businesses and other buskers. So if someone, wants that calling, they can be on Bank Street, uh, the Spark Street Mall has a different program, but they can be anywhere else in the city, you have to follow the noise bylaw. But in the four square blocks of the Byward Market where there's all that tension and all that demand, that's, that's what it is. So, and those fees aren't close to that. And the mandate typically, when you look at the whole budget, is that we recover, I mean, if we keep track of it, which we are, and I mean, over Easter weekend, we spent more time with buskers than we did with uh, the art and craft vendors or with anybody else. I mean, we're keeping track of what we're spending on this. And we want to be able to say to you and to council, this is how much time the program costs to administer. Um, because we're out there trying to say to the one or two, when you say it's one or two people who won't move after an hour, uh, who, you know, who plays too loud, who won't turn down the music, there needs to be controls for all of that. So we have to, we have to justify what we do in those four square blocks, same as we do everywhere else in the city of 